What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. In this one, I'm going to be talking about the newest software update. Uh, currently on Mother Frunker, I'm running 2019.36.2.4, uh, uh, but my friend uh, Aaron has the newest software update. I'll have it in the title above uh, whatever version it is that he has that we're going to be covering. His is the one with the uh, better lane changing. So definitely want to cover it. I thought it was a good, good excuse to hang out with him. We're going to have some lunch and uh, we'll check out the new software update. So anyway, I'm just heading over to his uh, area now. And I'm going to show you guys some lane changing uh, as soon as this traffic clears up. I'm going to show you guys some lane changing with the old version. Uh, that way we have something to compare to when we go to the new version. All right, the first one I want to show you is if I manually change lanes. So I'm signaling now. It is completely clear and it moves over pretty quick. It is very prompt when I initiate the lane change. I think it's slower when it wants to change lanes. So I'm going to wait till it's ready to change lanes and I'll come back. Okay, so there's no cars. It just prompted me for changing lanes. It's waiting, waiting, waiting. And now it's finally moving over. Uh, there's definitely a delay. It's really hesitant. Uh, it really has to be sure and cautious of no cars, even though it can detect it and it knows there's no cars, it's still really cautious. So I'm kind of curious to see how big of an improvement it is. I gotta, I can't wait to try it. All right, I'm so I'm with Aaron and we just finished having lunch. Like I was waiting as Aaron's smart summoning his car. And the guy's like, he just sat there. Uh, All right, so we're, we're in the car with nice Aaron now. And do you guys hear that? We will see that Ian road. and Eric and Trump chargers. Or, or they're here. Were, even though the <laughs> Maybe they're in both spots. All right, so that would have been a three. I want to talk about the newest software update. Let's see what's in here. You don't need the map, right? No, it's here. Okay, cool. So we have 2019.40.2 uh, release notes. What is new in this update? Don't run over the people. <laughs> Automatic wiper improvements. They seem to update this. Yeah, so this is interesting. The uh, I used to have a problem in, in my garage. Uh, if the lights were out and the headlights were off, and the car was in the garage, so it was dark, right? Uh, the wipers would just start wiping. So it'd be so dark that it would think that vision's obscured in some way, and it would start wiping. So that was on the old the old rain sensor setup, whatever they were using. Um, so with this update, that doesn't happen anymore. Okay. But what's interesting is the now when I pull into the garage, if it's light, like the door's open, there's light coming in, my headlights are on, it starts wiping like crazy. <laughs> so, so they improved it in one way, but then they made it worse in another way. So interesting. So uh, hopefully, it, it improves over time. They said that like uh, they'll keep fine tuning that algorithm and so on. So. I I have the in in the garage wiping problem oh, yeah. as well. So I'm kind of curious to see what happens when I get the update, and I'll let right. you know. Yeah. Uh, automatic lane change improvements, which we're gonna show soon enough. You guys will get to see in a second what Canada does to our cars. <laughs> Because I just watched this less than a week ago, and you'll get <laughs> <laughs> So, most likely, that's what the side camera... That's the rear camera. I don't know if you can see. It, you can't see. You can't see a whole lot. Uh, no. It's really bad. And the uh, uh, side cameras are probably... The repeater cameras are probably looking the same. Okay, so it looks like we had... The roads got a little wetter, so the car doesn't look that bad, actually. But it was... It was pretty nasty yesterday. All right, so really random, but you can see in the top right here, it says passenger airbag on. 99.999% uh, sure that is new, right? I'm pretty sure it caught my eye as well. Yeah, I haven't seen that before. So we have navigation on autopilot on. Uh, Aaron uses confirmation, right? Yeah. So he so confirmed. Let's, so let's uh, try this here. So it's pretty cool. Like, see how the messed up the lanes are, and it has no problem hand. Look at this. Yeah. Look how messed up those lanes are, and the cars having no problem whatsoever. Right? That's actually really cool. Yeah. So I'm gonna turn this on. There's a car coming. There's quite a few cars trying to go around me actually. Uh, <laughs> so I'll turn it on. We'll see how it handles it. So he signaled. You can kind of see the cars here. And this guy. So he saw my signal, so he sped up. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Like, it didn't hesitate. It just moved over, like, right away. Yeah. And I'll do it again uh, to get into the passing lane here in a second. Uh, so I'll turn it on now. This is another car coming quickly. And then after that, it should move over after this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so 
and it's merging even you know with the uh, like with the the other car is still pretty close, right? It's not waiting a while. Yeah, because before it used to like my version would really wait a while, mm-hmm. and it like second guess itself because sometimes it would come in and then come back Go out. Back, yeah. yeah, so you said like we we're talking about it before during lunch. We said it's becoming more human like. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and I can definitely feel the. Uh, and maybe this is actually not a good thing, but it doesn't stay centered in the lane as much. Like, you do feel it jumping back and forth. It, it, it has been worse. It's, it's not doing too bad right now. Um, but I do like the fact that, especially big vehicles, it seems to move move out, move over in the lane so that you're not curiously close to another vehicle. Yeah, see, I've always wanted that because, like, if there's a car over here mm. that's on the, line. on the line too close to you, I want my car to move over. Yeah. I don't know if it's done that yet, but I know for, like, large vehicles... Even not necessarily transport trucks, usually transport trucks, but I've seen it do it for like cargo vans and stuff as well, where it seems to move over. Okay. No, it's it's actually really really impressive how well it works. Uh, you want to yeah, signal right? Let's do one more. So let me wait till we get in front of this truck here. Like, what happens if you're beside the vehicle? Does it speed up or does it prefer to slow down? So it used to slow down. Let's try now. So it's it's sort of it hesitated there for a second. And tried to slow down, but then it decided it's going to wait till it gets in front of us. So that's an improvement because it used to be uh, that if you were like right beside a vehicle, it would always slow down. Yeah. Even if it was like very clear right in front. Yeah. So in that case, it briefly slowed down, but then it sped right up and decided to get in front. So that's definitely better. It was thinking like, should I slow down or should I speed up? And yeah. And usually it would always like default to slow down. Slow down, yeah. Um, but now in the case, it actually did choose to speed up. So for those who are still running the older software, like myself, yeah. if you do put your foot on the electric pedal, <laughs> we'll call yeah. it, yeah, uh, it like, it'll help it change lanes. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. It'll make it change lanes faster. So I've noticed, at least in this update, it seems to do a lot of that on its own now. Okay. Like, it, like speeding up, I've definitely noticed it speed up to try to get in between two cars. Okay, gotcha. So you still have to do it sometimes, but... No, that's really cool. Uh, it is a lot smoother than before. Yeah, so let me let me try changing lanes with it. With there's no obstructions, there's no cars. The last few we did were with the uh, cars in the way, so there's nothing here. I'll lane changer. This one's interesting because there's actually an exit here. So let's see how it handles this. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem. And it didn't like move over at all. Like it yeah. knew exactly where it was going. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, it wants me to exit here. I guess. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Because His hands are on the wheel, like yeah. fully. But it did that. So it, I don't know. It entered this lane for some reason. Usually, it only does that on an exit, and it's not exiting here. So I'm not sure why. Yeah, I don't know. That's that. interesting. Yeah. But no, it is. It is a pretty cool update. Um, I have noticed uh, when it does do that kind of thing, where it like auto lane changes for you, uh, like at an exit. Yeah. Uh, it it'll start beeping at you to pay attention. Um, so I feel like it's like its confidence level has dropped a bit when it does that. Okay. Uh, so hopefully that'll improve. I think they're making really good strides though with autopilot as a whole. Yeah. Like if you think this is so, vastly better than so before. So we'll change lanes again. We'll see how fast. See, like almost immediately, there's no hesitation. It used to, it used to wait a little bit. Like it would show you on the screen where it's going to go and stuff before it started. Here. Stop there. All right, so <laughs> let's see if we can make this exit. I don't think we can. Nope. Yeah, there's no. Will it slow down like before? So it's trying. So it did. It did try to slow down there until it realized it was impossible to make that and sped back up. <laughs> so now it's readjusted. Yeah. And now it's slowing down because it wants me to get over here. But like even that, it slowed down, but it didn't like slam on the brakes to go behind him. No. It is a lot better. Yeah. So, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This was actually a lot of fun. Yeah. Definitely worth the drive just for the sushi. This is like an added <laughs> bonus. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, check out Aaron on Twitter. I'll have a link to his Twitter in the description below. I'm trying to get him to start YouTube. <laughs> What's your thoughts on that? We'll see. We'll see. And if he starts it, I'll throw his YouTube in the description as well. Uh, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the newest update. Uh, leave a like, subscribe for more Tesla content. You want to add anything? Check out this exit. <laughs> Check out this exit. So, I mean, you guys that have autopilot or drive one nav, it shouldn't be too special for you, but yeah, see what it uh, does.
windows here. So it's pretty good. It's pretty good at like slowing down and everything. Um, one thing you can do now is you can actually use the lane change on the exit. It won't do it automatically, but uh, yeah, it'll actually. Pat, it's not new to this update, but you know, one of the previous updates now allows you to get into the proper lane. Yeah. With your intervention, hopefully that will become automatic in the future. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's pretty cool. cool. Thank you for ruining my outro. Do subscribe for more tests of content. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. See you guys next time. <laughs>